Hello Earthlings, and welcome to another episode of Beat Freaks. Today is Playlist Picks Volume 2. So today Niles and I have put together our June playlist, stuff we've been listening to this month, remember eight songs, and uh, right now we're going to share it with you, and then after that we'll talk about it. Shy Glizzy, Get Money for Life, featuring Young Boy Never Broke Again. What a name, alright? Um, I discovered Shy Glizzy um, fairly recently, probably in the last month or so. And uh, he's one of those rappers that doesn't have a lot of fame, but you know, it's just a good opening track I felt like for my playlist. It's actually the opening track on his album that came out this year, so uh, check him out, see what you think. Um, I feel like he's a pretty solid up and up rapper. Uh, next song, Graduate, Dom Kennedy. And um, for a song that's so good, I am surprised it took me six years to discover it because uh, this song is so smooth, the hook is really good, this flow is great, everything about the song is good. And I was so surprised when I uh, looked it up and saw it was from 2011 because I felt like this is a song I should have discovered far sooner than I did. And uh, an artist I should have discovered sooner than I did. Uh, the next song was Amine and Kalani, Heebie Jeebies. Yes, I looked up how to say his name today, I'm not ashamed of that. But um, this song, just I thought it sounded great. Um, Amine and Kalani work really well together. Um, the picture on the album cover is pretty cool too, as you can see up over my shoulder. Um, but I thought the song sounded great. Um, I love what Amine's been doing. Um, all his singles have been great, and I can't wait for his full-length project that he just announced coming out at the end of July, so it should be fun. Um, probably talk about it on our show. Uh, fourth song was It's a Vibe, Two Chains, featuring uh, Ty Dolla Sign, Trey Songz, and Janae Aiko. And um, I'm surprised I like a song that says the same word over and over again so much because yeah, now I'm in the back, I just survive. That's a vibe. But um, it just says it over and over again. So, like, two chains just pick three people with great sounding voices and just have them say the same thing over and over again. And it sounds great. Um, I thought the piece was cool. I um, wish there was more Janae in this song because she sounds the best. But um, overall, a great song. Um, one of the highlights of that project for me. Um, fifth song, OMG, Big Ben So Pusha T. Um, I'm Big Ben's newest EP. Um, I was a big fan of the CP. Uh, I thought Tech's done some great work the past few years, and I'm excited for his full length album coming out later this year. Um, OMG was one of the top songs on this playlist. There's only four of them on the EP, but I thought it was probably the best one. Um, next one, Denzel Curry, This Life. Um, just got into Denzel Curry recently after probably watching the XXL Cyphers from last year over and over again, hearing his verse first. Um, so I had to check him out. And uh, I like this song most from his last album. He had a new um, EP actually just dropped. Um, haven't listened to it yet, so I probably should. He has an album coming out soon, later this year, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, next one, Young Pinch, Look Like. Young Pinch, Look Like. Um, I've never heard of Young Pinch before this song, and I've never listened to any of the other songs. Um, I just heard this one song, Look Like, uh, came on on one of the radios for the Spotify playlist I was listening to, and I thought it was a really good song, so I added it to my playlist. Um, it's something I've been listening to a lot lately. And uh, I probably should check out more of this guy because it sounds pretty good. And the last one, Post Malone, Candy Paint. Um, I've been a big fan of what Post has done so far um, with Sony. And uh, now this song here, and there's another album coming out soon. Um, it sounds pretty good, especially. And uh, I like the way the song is, the hook is great. Um, just looking forward to more Post Malone. So that's my playlist. I uh, hope you enjoy it. So my playlist starts off with the newest song from Danny Brown. It was made for an Amazon original series, and it's called Kool Aid. Uh, this song is really dope. It uh, features uh, some steel drum as the main instrument in the beat, and it's just it's just very hype, kind of electronic. And it reminds me a lot of Danny Brown's dip uh, from his album Old. So that was pretty sweet. Now the second song is not the same by Kyle. Now I heard Kyle initially on I Spy and I just wasn't really impressed. I just didn't really like that song all that much the first time I heard it. And then I heard this, and I was like, okay, this guy actually has some bars to him. So that song pretty much impressed me and I had to put it on here. Third is Vitamin D uh, by Ludacris featuring Ty Dollar Sign. It's a very sexual song, as many Ludacris songs tend to be, but really, when it comes to that subject matter, no one does it like Ludacris. No one can beat his flow. No one can beat the kind, the kind of, the balance of corny and cheesy and kind of cool, slick lyrics that he has. It's just Ludacris. Nobody does it like him. So I had to put that in, of course. 
the uh, next track is FBGM. That's Fuck Bitches, Get Money. It's by T Pain featuring Young MA. And this song, I saw it come pop up as a recommendation, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to put this on my playlist. And then I heard it, and I heard that it was like an ironic love song. Uh, it, you know, it was not like a fuck bitches get money, it was like a monogamous song. And I thought it was, that, that was kind of cool, kind of funny. So I put that on there, had a really nice beat, very happy. Young M.A. had a good verse on it. Uh, the next song actually just added today, it's called Got Your Back. And it's just, you know, it's, it's just, it's just got a great hook, you know, it's good for dancing, it's, it's nice uplifting, talks about uh, some of the struggles uh, that relationships have, but, you know, the payoff that, that is there, so it's a good, good song. Can't Take That Away by uh, Brother Ali is the uh, next song on the playlist, and that song is very cool, I've never really listened to Brother Ali before this album, but I just really liked how wholesome the lyrics were how just uplifting the beat was, and just how it really, just put me in a really positive mood, so that song was great. Next is Word on the Streets, uh, the newest song from Dizzy Wright. Dizzy Wright. So Dizzy Wright is someone <coughs> who I slept on for a long time, uh, until his album Growing Pains, I think it was called, came out, and then I was like, okay, this is dope. Since then, I've been following him pretty closely, and he's just, you know, he always comes with dope bars, dope beat, he just always does things that like you don't really hear other people do. He's just not afraid to push the envelope. So that's why I put that song here. Finish things off with self self M A D by self uh, Young M A. You know, Young M A is kind of a strange rapper to me. Uh, she you know is you no, know, I haven't liked all of her stuff. I don't necessarily like her uh, style, but like this song, the, the organs on it. Uh, the whole, the hook, the, everything about it came together really well and it was a very uplifting and inspiring song. So I thought it was a nice uh, ending to this playlist. So I know after uh, the last playlist video, you had decided to make your playlist with a bit more of a flow yeah. and a theme. So how did you uh, put together this playlist? Well, originally I was going to do more of a piano beat theme, but I felt like that just kept repetitive. So I decided to switch it up and just make it so it had like an impactful beginning, a bunch of cool, just chill songs in the middle. And um, then just kind of like an awesome ender. Mm -hmm. and I felt like I accomplished that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I definitely thought that the intro uh, was cool. It definitely grabbed me. I didn't necessarily like the rappers on that song, yeah. but I thought the beat was really good. Yeah, I also gave a lot of attention to artists that I felt like people might not have heard of that much. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's one guy that I knew you didn't hear of. Yeah, so yeah. Put that important, one. important stuff yeah. to do that. Yeah, I mean, your playlist uh, was. I, I liked it a lot for the most part. There was quite a few things that stuck out to me. Uh, it's a Vibe is a great track. Oh My God is a cool track. Uh, first track, like I said, Get uh, Money for Life was pretty cool. This Life was pretty dope. Uh, but for me, definitely the best track on there was Heebie Jeebies. Uh, I'm a big fan of that track. Yeah, that song. I thought was... Amina and Kalani had a lot of chemistry. Oh, yeah. It definitely showed in that track. Oh, yeah. Their, their voices blend together really well, and the melodies. It's, it's just great. It reminded me of something that like maybe 2088 could have put out. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it, yeah, it just that kind of chem that kind of like tight knit chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. how it pays off. Yeah, Kalani's like one of my like I don't know if I can call it a guilty pleasure, but yeah. I love listening to Kalani. So yeah, she's a great cool. voice. She makes great music. Um, you know, speak Kalani. Well, it would be a guilty pleasure. You like R&B? I do. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Kalani's like separate. <coughs> she's not acceptable. No, she's like separate. Feels like from yeah. separate now. I guess. But yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot to say about your place, to be honest. I thought it was, I thought, it, it, I mainly was struck by the fact that, yeah, it seemed to flow a lot better. It had a good variety of, uh, you know, nice hard-hitting stuff and just uh, smoother stuff. Um, that was also hard-hitting, you know, like, like this life was kind of, kind of both, kind of, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And yeah, it was just, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think that anybody who's really just into just like hard hitting beats and like good hooks are definitely gonna like your playlist a lot. Yeah, I'm a big hook guy. I'm sure yeah. you know that. So no, I know for sure. And hard and beats. So those two things go together. If you put them on one track, I'm probably gonna like that track. For sure. All right, so let's talk about your playlist now. Um, right. You had some interesting stuff. I didn't make the Danny Brown Kool Aid the dip connection until you mentioned it. Yeah. But I felt like that's another hard hitting opener. Yeah. Even uh, harder than mine. It's just the Danny Brown style, you know. Yeah, no, absolutely. I thought that Honestly, was good. 
But when I put this put this playlist together, was a kind of it, it, it is kind of themed in the sense that it's a sandwich. Uh, the first couple tracks, Kool Aid and Not the Same, they're both like, you know, got they're they're like boss shit tracks. They're like, yo, this is they're also I, soundtrack soundtracks. They're also soundtrack soundtracks. Uh, but yeah, no, they're also they're just about you know, I'm a boss. I do my own shit. Get the fuck away. Get your own shit. Yeah, uh, I'm a big Kyle fan. Uh, yeah, Kyle I was showing on a Kyle kick this past week, and you know, I feel like um, Nothing to Lose is one of my favorite songs on in my playlist. Yeah. So, like, I just fell in love with that song recently, I just didn't want to It's a good song. I was just, just watching the YouTube video, actually. It's yeah. pretty good. But, <coughs> so anyway, the first two songs, <laughs> our first two songs are, like, boss shit songs. Then the next four... Yeah, throw back the, Thursday, the next the one. Little, the little chunk here is all relationship-themed. It's kind of a stage okay. of relationships, right? So you have vitamin D with Ludacris, right? Yeah. That is like that's like the lust that you know yeah. you see like a hot chick and you're just like yo that's, that's your Tinder song. I'm trying. To, <laughs> that's a Tinder song for yeah, sure. But that is your uh, <coughs> right? I mean, I don't use Tinder. I have a girlfriend, but oh. like, uh, <coughs> but yeah, no. So that's like the initial lust that comes before the relationship, and then there's fuck bitches get money, which is all about like yo, this chick's just like me. She's just on her grind. She's just hot as fuck, she's doing her thing, and she's really cool. And so that's like, they're, you're getting real familiar with the person. And then you got Got You Back, which is talking about kind of like, you know, getting in the thick of the relationship, having your struggles, having your fights, uh, you know, not really knowing what, how things are at the, end of the, uh, at the end of the day, but then being like, yo, you know, I still got your back, whatever. Uh, so that's like where the relationship is growing. And then the fourth stage here is Can't Take That Away, uh, which is all based on, you know, which when you have reached your wholesome and all the good memories and the support that this relationship has brought you. Yeah. So I, I like that track a lot. First I've heard of that guy. Yeah, same, same. I check, I checked this album out because of the... the uh, Might have been my favorite song on there. Oh yeah, it no, it was, it was a great song. And I really like the way that has that, that, that spoken word intro, the spoken word yeah, part, yeah. The part and how it flowed then into a word on the yeah. street. That's that, that, uh, true. And uh, the world's street busy, right? Guy, he said he slept on. I probably slept on too a little bit. Yeah, you should check, check out his. I have listened to his stuff. stuff. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know, man. I have listened to that album. Yeah. I don't know if I really have a plan to, but yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's okay. Song, it's yeah. it's decent. Like that song yeah. is definitely the best one on the album. Okay. And I feel like it's yeah, it's, it's dope. Yeah. So all in all, you got a nice blend of songs there. Mm-hmm. Uh, another good playlist. Yeah. So two months in a row. Two months in a row. Looking forward to seeing what the next uh, uh, summer playlist. What the next theme will be. I mean, wouldn't this technically be the summer playlist? Alright, you know what? This is partially spring. We're filling this like a week in the summer. Alright. July is like midsummer, like you're going out to like picnics and stuff. You're right. You're, going you're right. Fireworks. That's the summertime. Alright. So. so we're going to make some hot playlists for your summer. Yeah. It's going to be dope shit. And uh, come back for that. Be freaks. Be freaks. Give us a, a subscribe and a yeah. comment. And tell us what you Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Yeah, let's that weekend song.